Hello, good morning. Over here kind of in the shadow of the house today. It's going to be a great day. It's March and it's supposed to hit 85 today. <laughs> Uh, I can hear it now. We're going to have to turn the air conditioner on. Don't tell the missus. <laughs> anyway, it's really nice out today. It's only about, I don't know, it's about 50. It's probably warmer out in the sun. I could go in the sun. But I don't know, this is okay. Ah, well, so the mystery set, I'm just going to reveal it. The mystery set is a PC 348N. The BC 348N is an old war horse. Kind of a child of modern, te well, not modern, yeah, pre war technology. How about that? Thousands of BCs were built, I uh, believe hundreds of thousands. And after World War II, hundreds of thousands of BCs were turned loose on the market. Where, uh, amateur radio enthusiasts gobbled them up and Started chopping at them. This one's still in reasonably good shape. It's escaped m molestation over the years. Um, it's got a knob that's missing here. It's got a control that was added, which is useless. It's actually an antenna control, and from my findings, it pretty much just sits in that position and stays there. It's missing a switch and a knob over here. This was the uh, BFO. They call it the CW oscillator. The 348 is a pretty basic machine. It tunes from uh, low band, just under the broadcast band, from 200 kilohertz to 500 kilohertz. It just touches the broadcast band and then picks it up at 1.5 megahertz to 3.5 megahertz. Funny how it just skips the broadcast band and then we go on 3.5 to 6 megahertz, 6 to 9.5 megahertz, and 9.5 to 13.5 megahertz, and then 13.5 to 18 megahertz. So it covers a few of the amateur bands. It doesn't go into the 10 meter band, but eh, I don't know. I don't think there's anything up there anyway. It's uh, got some pretty basic controls. The on off switch is kind of got AVC and then manual VC. It's set up for headphones. The volume control is kind of interesting on these sets. It says volume, but depending on what mode this switch is in, it's either a volume control or a kind of a RF gain control. There actually are two pots stacked up there. And then the BFO control is right here. Uh, the band selector switch and tuning. And that's about it. The antenna connections and the secret door which we'll talk about later. These two screws hold the BC in its little chassis. I was really lucky. I got this one for $40 plus some tubes. And also, um, the BC I got a hold of has a nice little shock mounting tray. That's how it was mounted in the aircraft. I've done actually very little to this other than take it out of the case and peek around in it and then fire it up. Uh, most military hardware is so heavily built that, excuse me, that um, unless something horrible has happened to it, it'll usually just take off and run. That's been my experience anyway. I think I'm going to reverse a few of the modifications to this and try and put it back in uh, its original running uh, kit. Originally, the BC had a a dynamotor. A dynamotor is a powered motor on one side that converts the DC back to high voltage DC on the other. It's kind of a rotary transformer for lack of a better word. Um, this one has been converted to AC which basically entails chopping into the dynamotor mount, getting rid of the dynamotor and its filter caps and uh, putting a little transformer and a rectifier and then another filter cap yeah, this one's okay, although the filter cap was not firmly mounted, so it's been bouncing around in there. There's a couple other little time bombs I found in here, but nothing major. Uh, finding an unmolested BC nowadays is getting just about to be impossible. You see a few, but they're few and far between. And this one's in 
I would say, pretty good looking shape. It works just fine. It needs a little TLC, but, uh, and you saw me replace two tubes. It had two incorrect tubes. Somebody had been tinkering around in there. And there's been a little wiring messing around going on there. One of the other things you have to do with the AC conversion is put all the filaments in parallel for the tubes. Um, they're set up for 28 volts for aircraft power. And then you've got to rewire all those if you want it to run on, on, on 6.3 volts. So I thought my camera and the BC and me would uh, show you what's going to happen along the way here. I really have no plans to do anything to it cosmetically. It's it's a, it's got a few tiny little dings, but uh, as far as I can tell, it's in pretty good shape. From my research, apparently the there are a number of different BCs, and there are a number of different versions of the 348. Um, basically, there are two rough types: uh, what they call the grid cap version, and then the non-grid cap version. Uh, the grid cap version was built earlier these started being manufactured in the 30s 35 and I believe they stopped manufacture in 46 I believe and most of the variations were from different manufacturers but they're all pretty much the same well that's all I'm going to show you right now so I'm going to get out my uh, tools and actually my notebook and we'll Next uh, on this series here, we'll just kind of look this baby over and roll it around a little bit and see what we got to do to potentially straighten this up. Like I said, I'm going to need a couple knobs. I can liberate this knob and move it. This switch is missing, so that's going to be a little bit of a pill. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do to plug this hole. It isn't even mounted well. It's just loose. There's a tuning cap back there that's or a coupling cap actually for the antenna. Remember, if you get a hold of a piece of surplus gear, to, to chop it up and make it your own. I think there were a lot of articles in amateur radio magazines of the time that uh, suggested wonderful modifications for these. And I think in retrospect, maybe not so much. The radio is yours to do what you want with, but uh, maybe you should buy two and chop up one and leave one alone. And then you wish you'd left the first one alone. From what I see, anyway. Anyway, take it easy. Have a good day.